Hi, welcome to 3D Animation Exam. I am Autodesk Maya online teacher. Today, in this video, I want to show you how to create an embossed design on a temple pillar using multi cut tool. This is the temple pillar we are going to do the embossment on. See how many embossments are there apart from this is cylindrical structure and this is cubical structure on that these embossments are there these complicated embossments are there so today we are going to do this one in this video i'm going to show you this embossment this particular embossment okay let's start So this is a pillar base uh, and I have not yet finished the entire pillar so while it's in the process I just want to show you how how I am creating the embossment okay first let's make the design using curves for that you have to make this mesh live surface here the horseshoe magnet is there just switch on it now you can see the change in color for the mesh it means you can now draw the curve on the mesh and the curves will exactly uh, will be drawn on the surface so once you see it you will understand that go to create curve tools cv curve tool settings and uh, one linear one curve degree should be linear now i'll just show you how to draw it i have already drawn the curves here the curves are we are going to use that only to show you i'm drawing it the sample i'm drawing this is the design we are trying to draw Okay, now once you have done this, you can switch switch the live surface off and uh, select the curve and go to modify center pivot so that you can place the center that is pivot wherever you want. Go to pivot mode and move it here now duplicate it and uh, mirror it using scale now you have got two curves facing each other now go to curves attach the curves it got attached you can see that again apply center pivot go to modify and apply center pivot and uh, you have to close the curve curves open close so this is done you can see the curve is beautifully lying on the curved surface if you are doing without this live surface option it is not it's going to be very difficult and time taking task so with this live surface we have created this curve lying on the surface of the uh, pillar curved pillar surface okay so now we don't need this actually because i have already done this so let's delete it and hide the original ones see i have already done this 
I took some time to draw it and tweak them all that. Then I duplicated it and placed it. Now we can delete the uh, the sample ones. Yes, delete. Now I am going to show you for this particular uh, region how to emboss the design uh, mesh design from this in this from this region. Okay. So generally people may use uh, this project curve on mesh tool and split mesh with projected curve that is uh, they select the we can we have to select this mesh and select this curve also shift to select then go to edit mesh project curve on mesh and the curve will get projected on the on the surface then uh, then from that we have to do our work uh, embossing work but thing is we have to add subdivisions for that only then this tool will get applied and it won't give you the desired result the result you are expecting that it won't give so for that sake i i am choosing to do it manually to draw the design using this reference curve to draw the design on the surface manually i'm going to draw the design on the surface using this reference curve so before that uh, select the curve and uh, display cv on in the component display so that you can see the points in the curve even when it is not selected okay so now i'm going to draw the uh, curve that is edges on the surface using multi cut tool okay right. let's maximize the viewport mesh tools multi cut tool we have to start drawing the edges from some already existing edge okay from here i'll start it need not be so exact but let the let uh, create the points on the the points already existing on the curve looks like um, time taking task but it's not uh, you will get the result what you want for that only we are doing it manually without using the project curve on mesh option and you can see I am doing I am applying by mistake if I am clicking here instead of here I am clicking here then I can use uh, Control Z. That is, I can do undo. So that feature they have introduced uh, in the latest versions of Maya. In the earlier versions, uh, it was not there actually. Once you, if you press the undo in the earlier versions while creating the the curve uh, edges while drawing the edges on the surface, the entire edges will go off. So from the scratch again you will have to start if you do undo but in the latest versions you can do undo only the the particular point what the last thing you did will go off. So now I'm continuing to draw it. It 
can be sharp edges why because uh, it's a granite stone pillar so carvings will not have smooth edges so these kind of sharp edges uh, can be shown now the last edge I am point I am uh, merging with the uh, the first point and then pressing enter in the keyboard now you can see the edges matching the reference curve now we don't need the curve you can just hide it you can see the edges I have drawn is has beautifully come out so this is why we are choosing to do it manually using the multi cut tool now what we are going to do is uh, extrusion go to edit mesh and uh, do the extrusion before that I just want to show you if I just move it see how it behaves this is how it behaves so we should not move it actually we are going to extrude from that place extrude and uh, don't use this vectors these vectors instead press W in the keyboard and move it so that it comes straight it won't go sideways okay no actually like this you can do and uh, you can go to edit mesh and apply given uh, then if you feel the bevel edges are very thin then what you can do is like you can select the most surface carefully select them and then little forward you can bring that is we can do so now I want the same design here also so for that what I am going to do is I am going to mirror this side to this side before that I have to add points in the middle uh, row so let me go to multi cut again and I will add this black line I am choosing the Z line this black line you are seeing you know in the grid that I am taking as reference and so adding it's got added now you select those edges go to wireframe mode and select those edges and uh, scale it in the X to zero length so that it becomes straight now you see it has these zigzag things so once you scale it to zero in the x-axis it becomes flat there are no zigzag in the uh, in the edges now we have to place them in the middle properly so for that you have to switch on the grid snap and uh, it will snap now you can switch off the grid snap and uh, you must remember where you have done this embossment it's in the right side so now we are going to select the left side of the mesh and press delete in the keyboard now uh, duplicate and uh, apply minus one in the scale x so that it gets mirrored now you see the design here also but one thing is it's not it merged you have to make it a single object with points merged so first we have to make it a single object select both of them go to mesh combine so it got combined it's a single object now you can see now though it's a single object 
they are still different uh, polygons that is they are the points are not yet merged it's not a single face it's a two different faces here. two different faces so we have to merge them how to do it okay let's go to uh, object mode and then go to edit mesh merge it will itself merge once you apply the merge option it will itself uh, try to find out where there are uh, points there are two points located very close to each other then it will itself merge it so now if I go to vertex mode and see the point it won't show the two separate uh, edges or points it is merged so now I can select the edges which I added I can even delete them but it's not necessary it can be there so now it's a single object with merged uh, edges so this is how we are will be doing for other uh, designs also once here also here 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 also once it is done we have to delete the, the delete this part and uh, duplicate and mirror them and merge them this is how we should do that okay that's it for today you can visit uh, my website 3danimationignia.com to know more about my online classes and videos Please subscribe my channel to see more videos on Maya software. Thanks for being with me. Cheers.